Felix here. And there is one bit of data that I watch very carefully. Why? Because it tells us a heck of a lot about what's going to happen in the market here. And the data is not what I'd like it to be. I'd like you to understand it. I'm not just going to tell you what the numbers are. I'm actually going to explain to you how you look it up yourself and everything else. And at the end, I'll also show you how you could actually hedge yourself against the next market crash, whenever that might be. So this is not a crash video, by the way, but before we go into anything here, download Bank of America's top 18 cheap stocks. Links also in the description, felixrenz.org slash B of A 18, B of A 18. Get your pause on that. Of course, none of the following financial advice. You know that by now. You also know that we have the big greatest disclaimers in the industry and that I can speak really, really quickly if I want to. Um, here we go. That's the wrong. <laughs> That's Why does it keep doing that? Why does it keep doing that to us? Um, it's, it's, it's the conspiracy. They don't want me to tell you. That's what it's all about. That's what a Reddit post would say. So what have we got? Okay, we've got a lovely recovery. You know this. I know this. Everybody knows this. You know, since the rally has begun, since the beginning of time, you know, we went up very nicely, growth recovering a little more than, than value because it went down further. It always happens that way. But, and this is the big, ugly but, the bond market has gone down. Down. What does that mean? When the bond market goes down, people sell bonds, they buy stocks. Why? Because they can make more money with stocks. When the bond market, on the other hand, goes up, it's bad for stocks because you can make a decent return holding bonds and bonds are perceived to be safer, at least the 10-year treasury yield. People don't think that the US is going to default. They haven't met your politicians, have they? So that's the beginning. That's not what we're really talking about here, but you need to know that. So what are we really talking about here? This. The difference between the Fed forecast for interest rates, what they're telling us interest rates are going to be, and what the euro dollar implied rate is, which is basically what the market says. So the market says that interest rates are going to fall next year, and that they will be at the end of the year at about 3.3%. That says the market. Now, the Fed, in its infinite wisdom, says the rate's going to be 3.8%, says the Fed. The difference is, well, it's, it's not pretty, is it? It's 0.5%. That's a whopper. So who's right, who's wrong, and what's happening here? Well, have a look at how the market reacts to each Fed interest rate hike. This here is the two-year interest rate, which is a pretty much tells you what, what's going to happen in, in terms of what the market believes the Fed's going to do. So from the May rate hike here, interest rates went up really nicely, right? 0.75% interest rate hike we got, and we went up more than that, 0.9% or something like that. So the market really like reacted the way the Fed wanted it to. Now, in the next interest rate hike on 30th of June, same size hike, we still went up, but not that much. We went up about half a percentage point here. So the Fed would have been like, hmm, okay, all right, let's see what happens. And then since then, we haven't really done anything. So we're kind of like discounting this latest interest rate hike a little, but it gets worse. If you look at the 10-year and you look at the reaction of each interest rate hike. First one was a whopper, right? Fed's going to love that. Second one, whopper. Fed's going to love that. Third one, we went up and then down. The Fed's going to hate that. So they did it again. They did the 7.75% rate hike, and the market went up again and then down again. So they were like, oh, we have to do something about this. The market is not believing us. The market does not think we're going to carry this through with this. So they raised interest rates again here. But what does the market do? It's the market should have gone up to here. The market should have be, should be at 3.8% up here, but it isn't. It fell, and it's sort of petering out sideways, lower than where we were when we were 0.75% lower in the interest rates. And the Fed is not going to like this at all. So what we can see is over this whole period, since rate hikes started, Rates went up 2.25%, and the market went up how much? 3.25 minus 1337. The market, whoops, 3.25. Using a calculator is a challenge in this day and age. So the market 
moved up 1.95%. Now, you might think that's not a big difference, but it's a huge difference for the bond market, a huge difference here. So we should be up another 0.3%. And then more, more importantly, on the last two interest rate hikes here, so each of my, my points, you can see the interest rate hikes. Well, you can't. No, you can down here in, in yellow. The rate hike on the last almost 0.75%. And how much did we go up by? 0.271 is what the market did when the interest rates went up 0.75%. So the market's going like, we don't believe you. You are bluffing. And the Fed logically has to come back and go, no, we do mean business. And we are taking this seriously. And we are going to keep raising rates until the market believes us again. Because the whole thing is about trust and faith in the Fed. And you might think that's fairly laughable for an institution that's been saying that inflation is transitory for the last two years, but that's the way the system works. So watch out for next Saturday, Jackson Hole. Watch out for Jay Powell's speech. He's going to be looking at these numbers and he'll be looking as grumpy as he does on my thumbnail. And he's going to do his best, as are the Fed presidents, to convince the market that they are serious about inflation. And if the market still doesn't believe it and doesn't act, and this rate doesn't go further up, and there aren't cats jumping on my table. Here's one you haven't met. This is Tiger Lily, <laughs> who's terrorizing my desk at the moment, jumping on my keyboard right at the right moment. Um, if they don't, the market doesn't change tact, the Fed will have to raise rates more than they actually want to, because we can see that they are concerned about it. Now, the other thing that's raising lots, not more than I want to, but lots, I just want to show you, always for transparency, I made $1,294 last week on options. How much did I have invested? On average, about $19,000 during the week. So 1,294 over 19,000. That's a uh, fantastic week. That's about 6.8% or something like that, which is brilliant. Uh, absolutely fantastic. And we are, we are continue to be flying 118% up on the year so far. Um, and, and all I'm saying is open your eyes, open your minds if you have an interest in building lasting wealth. And I really mean intergenerational wealth, proper wealth, not just a little bit more cash here and there. Then uh, join the community. Go to felixransom.org slash coaching. Give us a call. Um, this is my chief of all chiefs. Here she is, technically. Um, she's a lovely little creature, knows everything about options trading, uh, teaches me all the strategies. And, and seriously, we're making money very consistently. And that's really what it's about. This is not one of these gambling things, not one of these, um, you know, you make money occasionally. Look, we're making money every single month, right? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Um, the pen is a bit slow for some reason. But, you know, the, the dramatic point I was trying to make, my pen undid by being slow. Thank you, Microsoft. <laughs> so check it out. Uh, two ways of joining us. Uh, one is book a call with us at felixrenser.org slash coaching. Um, that's for the coaching community. And secondly, check out the program, felixrenser.org slash options. Write down that coupon code FREEDOM. It's not on the website page. And it's completely risk-free, by the way. The program's 100% utterly, utterly risk-free uh, because I want to, to feel safe and secure as you embark on this journey, jump into it. If after 90 days it wasn't for you, you let me know. Uh, simple as that. All I ask is that you actually complete the program, um, do some paper trading and that kind of thing, and we help you, we guide you, and we answer your questions. So thank you very much for watching. I wish you a beautiful weekend. See you soon.